Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set his seal on him. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. That St. John chapter 6, verses 26 through 29 out of the New King James Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for all of you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Yes, what a wonderful way for you to start your day, holding fast to your commitment to pray. And we believe at Thrive that a church that prays together is a church that will indeed thrive together. So welcome to the Prayer 365 podcast, where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. I want to take a moment and again, thank each of you for your patience this morning. We got started just a little late this morning due to some technical issues. And it's amazing technology. You cannot predict what it's going to do, but we just have to make the adjustment as it happens. I also want to celebrate each of you for joining us yesterday during our Sunday worship experience. For all of you that were able to join us, whether it be in person or virtually, it was an absolute honor to worship with you. And my goodness, God moved in a mighty way. Amen. Through the message that we had yesterday titled the bread of heaven, which is also called the bread of life. And that's Jesus. Amen. If you missed that message, it'll be available. It's actually available right now on YouTube and Facebook. It'll be available on our website very soon. Amen. But I encourage you to go back and watch the replay of that message. Amen. So let's go ahead and, and get into our devotional for this morning. We're starting a theme this week titled The Work of Faith. I want you to say that aloud. Say, I'm going to do the work of faith. I'm going to do the work of faith. You see, in our text, brothers and sisters, we find where Jesus is having a conversation with these, these group, this group of people that have come looking for him. And, you know, they had experienced the feeding or that miracle, amen, of him feeding 5,000 men with two fish and five loaves of bread. So here they are excited and trying to get more, so to speak, or looking for more. That was good what I experienced. How can I get some more of that which I experienced? That was their pursuit. And so they searched high and they searched low, looking for him so that they could experience more. Doesn't that sound like many of us as we continue to pursue God, as we continue to search after him, as we continue to, to seek after his face because we've had an encounter and we desire more? Well, that's just like them. But as they find him, we find here in the text, and we can go back to it, that they begin to ask him questions. Well, they asked him, number one, Jesus, when did you get here? But put that aside, Jesus lets them know that I already know why you're here. He said, I see that, that you've come to seek me, not because you saw the signs that I performed, but because you ate the loaves and you were filled. You ate the bread and you've got filled up on that bread said, but don't labor for the food that perishes. What is Jesus talking about here? He's talking about the natural food. Don't labor for food that's going to spoil. Don't labor for the things of the flesh. But he goes on to say, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the son of man will give you. Who's the son of man? Jesus. He's speaking of himself because God the Father has set his seal on him. Now, this, these next words that they ask in Jesus' response is where we're going to really base our theme on this week. 
So he goes on here and he says, then they asked him. So here they are asking a question. What shall we do that we may work the works of God? What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Now, my brothers and sisters, what they have in their mindset is that there is a system that they're going to have to abide by or this extensive process that they're going to have to do in order to continue out what they believe as the works of God. Now, there were requirements prior to Jesus's coming, his initial coming. There were requirements that the Jews had to abide by. There were certain steps and protocols that were absolutely necessary, but they were anticipating this long process or this extensive work that they were going to have to do. But Jesus comes back and he makes it very plain. He answered and said to them, this is the work. Note the distinction. They said, what is the work that we can do so we can do the works of, the, of, of God? He said, instead of works, he says, this is the work. Instead of works, this is the work of God that you believe in him whom he sent. My brothers and sisters, we're going to start this week off on day one of this devotional by declaring that there's only one work. And we need to focus on the only work. You see, I know that sometimes what happens is, you know, we're so complicated as humans that we think that in order to experience the goodness of God, that we've got to put in a vast amount of effort. And I'm not saying that we ought to be lazy, not saying that at all, but we believe that there's this laundry list of requirements that we need to make in order to fully experience God. And we think that, well, I've got to be on this committee. I've got to serve on that board. I'm not truly living in the will of God unless I have a collar around my neck and I don't want to get in trouble this morning. I just hope I'm helping. But essentially, if we're not careful, we can fall in the line of works when Jesus is letting us know that there's only one work. The only work that we should be committed to, that we should be focused on, is believing him. I want you to say that aloud. The only work is that I believe. Hallelujah. The only work is that I believe. It's not that I improve people with my scriptural knowledge. It's not that I, or excuse me, impress people. There we go. It's not that I impress people with what I know about the scripture. It's not that I impress people with how good I can dress. It's not that I try to hide, come on here, and, and, and try to cover up my sin and the things where I'm wrong and my faults. The work, hallelujah, is that I believe. That's the only work. Glory. Today, I hope, in my prayer by the end of this theme, I hope that it starts today, that you would be relieved of the pressure that you've put on yourself. I like to call it the pressure to perform because that's perhaps what you've been doing. I was there trying to do everything I could because I thought there were works that I needed to do when I was omitting and overlooking the work. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, it's time to go to work. Hallelujah. I know some of you are in the car on your way to the place of, of business and your own company or whatever it may be, dropping your kids off the school and say, well, child, I got to go to work. Yes, you do. Son of God, daughter of God, my brother, my sister, it's time to go to work. Somebody say that today. It's time to go to work. 
Say it to yourself. Say, self, Enrique, it's time to go to work. I need to work on my belief. That's it. I, 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 there's no more to say for today. There aren't works. It's only the work. And the only work is that you believe. Not fit your spouse. Is that you believe. Not secure the bag. Is that you believe. Not try to convince other people that you believe, but that you do the work, hallelujah, of believing. Ah, this is a season of stretching. From the form of godliness to a true faith in Jesus. Let's pray today on this marvelous Monday that we would do the only work. Father, we thank you today. Father, we honor you, hallelujah, as King. We honor you as our Lord. We honor you as the Alpha and the Omega. We honor you as our Creator. We honor you, hallelujah, as our Redeemer. Father, glory to your name. Lord, we honor you today. We honor you as the provider. Hallelujah. We honor you as the healer. We honor you as our peace. Father, we honor you. Glory. Thank you, Father, as our strong tower. Father, all of these things that we are honoring you as today is to remind us, Father, of your works. It's to remind us of how good you work. To remind us of how amazing you are. Because, Father, many of the things that we say that you are, Father, we've been trying to do ourselves. And, Father, we ask you to forgive us. Father, forgive us for trying to be the problem fixer. Father, forgive us for trying to make people accept us. Father, forgive us for getting caught up and lost in the works when, Father, there was only one work that you required and desired of us, and that's that we would believe. Father, I thank you today. I thank you for the paradigm shift. Hallelujah. I thank you for the change of mind. I thank you for the change of focus. No longer will we put our minds on people. No longer will we focus on the bag or no longer will we focus on status and titles. But Father, we're going to focus. Hallelujah. We're going to focus on the work. I thank you, Lord that there's a shift that's happening in my brother's life. I thank you, Father, that there's a shift that's happening in my sister's life. I thank you, Lord, that even that child that was that was breaking and being crushed under the pressure of this current society, that, Father, they have been free today because, Lord, they don't have to get caught up in the works. But, Father, they will focus on the work, the only work. The work of faith my brother said it that father without faith it is impossible to please you father i pray that this week that we would do a faith check and that we would get real about our faith in you and as we close out this prayer we pray the way that jesus taught us to pray we say, our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. God bless each of you. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Remember, God didn't make you to get by by getting caught up in all of the works, but he created you to thrive in the work, in the work of faith, and the work of believing him. So believe him and let go of all of those other works, those works of the natural, 
those works of the flesh and throw yourself into the work of faith. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Take care. Bye-bye.